never tell the truth, that's why they lying on my name, on my soul I can't lose control, when y'all do the most, what's my hope? I can't lose my soul, I can't lose no more Alright y'all, what is going on guys, and today we're back with another banger video And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we have a video that I haven't made in over a year. I literally made a video, this exact video, last year with a totally different shoe with all that blah, blah, blah. As you can tell by the title, we're making a sneaker from scratch, doing a whole new shoe, brand new sneaker. I'm just excited to do this because I've learned a lot in the past year. In case you don't know, I do go to FIT. My major is sneaker design and I've learned a lot, And but I'm not gonna be doing you know, I'm still gonna be doing it my way, the way that I'm, I'm not doing it the school's way that like they're teaching us how to do, but I've definitely took stuff from it, if you know what I mean. Y you'll see what I'm talking about. But if you're new to this channel, make sure you take a second out of your day, hit that subscribe button, because we post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday four times a week, which is probably better than your favorite YouTuber, unless, of course, I'm your favorite YouTuber. And I cannot stress this enough, this video takes a lot of time and effort and it would just mean a lot if you just hit that subscribe button or if you're already subscribed just hit that like button take a second out of your day hit that like button because this is a very time consuming video now one more thing go follow me on instagram at paul Souls. now that all the talking is gone i'm very excited to do this so uh last time we did this we literally just started making a shoe and we kind of based it off of jordan one now i have a midsole just like last time we have this right here we're going to be building the sneaker off of this so boom we'll be building a sneaker off of this it's kind of like a converse uh type outsole and uh I, a lot of, I had a lot of people saying this in the last one that I made. It's I didn't own one of these at the time. This is a last. This is what you normally build your sneaker off of. Now, we're not going to be doing that again. We're going to be doing this again from scratch. DIY sneakers. We're going straight from scratch. No last involved because, let me tell you why. Because this is a size 6 last. I want to make this sneaker my size. This is my size. This is a 9.5 thing. This is not going to fit. I'm not gonna be able to build my sneaker on this because this is the one that the school gives you. Now, you're probably like, why don't you just buy one that's your size? These are expensive, these are expensive, these are not cheap, but I did buy one and it's not coming for like a couple months because it's from like China or something. So yeah, that's why there's no last. So all my people that know about sneakers and know all that stuff, there will be no last used in this video. This is literally from scratch. All right, all the talking's done. I'm excited, let's get into it. Before we even start, we gotta, you know, come up with a design. What are we feeling? What is this sneaker gonna look like? Last time I did it again, I literally just took a Jordan 1 and I traced panels off and I did that. This time, I kind of drew a mock-up. It's not gonna look exactly like this because, again, I don't know how to make it look exactly like this. We're gonna make it look somewhat like this. I don't know if y'all can see, it's kind of on like tracing paper, so you can't really tell, but just know the sneaker's kind of gonna look like this. Kind of, not, not promising it's gonna look like this, but this is the vision I had in my head. It's gonna be a high top, it's gonna have a lot of paneling at least. And it'll have that thing on it. I know you guys can't really see now, but yeah, yeah, it, that's that's just the mock-up I had in my head. First thing we're gonna do before I start changing up the camera angles, getting in depth, uh, we have a sewing machine. Make sure you have all your supplies. We have a sewing machine. We got uh, hand sewing too. So boom, we got the sewing machine over here. Um, we got hand sewing because we're gonna hand sew it to the. Uh, to this this that'll be like the last step when we put the sneaker all together but to build the actual sneaker we're going to mainly be using a sewing machine something i didn't have in the last video so that's why i'm very excited to do this because i feel like this is going to come out 10 times better we got a whole thing to punch holes in to get uh you know sewing through easier uh scissors obviously bunch of different colored thread right here because the, one, the thread i have in there is red and yellow and we're not doing a red and yellow shoe uh we have paneling cut out i'm gonna show you all how i do all that and all that stuff so First thing that we make before we even do anything is the patterns because I'm not just going to take leather and start cutting leather without having patterns made. So we basically made the shoe out of paper first, like the all the paneling, all that stuff, the shape of the shoe. We made it all with that. So that's if you want to know how I got the measurements and all that stuff, this is a very time consuming process and I would show you all. But again, this is, I'm not teaching you all how to make a sneaker. I mean, unless you want me to teach you how to make a sneaker, but I'm just showing you how I made a sneaker from scratch. So yeah, we, we have a bunch of panels. I have more too, but the first step is just cutting out that. Always use paper because you don't want to just bring it to your leather that you bought or whatever material you're using. You just don't want to go straight onto it and start ripping up things without knowing the measurements, all that. So I made sure all the panels are somewhat decent again because I'm not using a last. So this is literally freehand. When it's on a last and you have paneling, it's more easier to see if it's going to fit, if it's going to look good. So let's hope it works. The sneaker upper, this is gonna be the shape of the upper right here. It's gonna connect, it's gonna look like that. Um, we have all the paneling that we're gonna sew on, that's what we're gonna get to. Again, This is I only got this far and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make this a video. 
So we're gonna sew all this on, we're gonna put the paneling in the right order, have panels all on it, and I have this, these two fabrics right here. We have felt, which is like a thick fabric. Now I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but I don't want the sneaker, you see how thin this is? I don't want the inside to be like that. I kinda wanna put the felt so it'll be like, you know, have padding, like it'll be like a little comfier, a little thicker, cause in the last one we made, it's, it's literally just leather. So I'm like, you know what, I wanna like add a little bit to it. And I learned how to, so it's not bare at the top like this, cause you know how there's normally a lining over, like there's lining in your shoe. We have a lining material, which I'm gonna show y'all how I do that. I'm gonna put this on and then we'll have a lining so it'll it'll line the inside. So I'm thinking in between the lining and this, I might put felt. I'm not promising it, but I might because I kinda wanna see what it looks like with the thickness. So, uh, yeah, so the first thing we're gonna do is just sew the uppers together and we're gonna, well, we're gonna make the paneling on the upper. We're just gonna sew the entire upper first before we even start applying it to this. So we're getting into the, basically making the shoe. We're about to make the shoe right now. So we're gonna make this, Sneaker and um, it's, it's gonna take a while. It's currently like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'll probably be doing this all day, so let's get into it. So right now I'm gonna be placing like the paneling how I want it, um, just because like, yeah, like I just wanna see how I'm gonna stitch, cause I'm gonna stitch all this down to this upper right here. And um, I'm thinking for this little like logo thing, it's not really a logo, it's just like a, it's just another like in design. I'm gonna put this behind it. So you could, so you kinda get like a pop of it. Like you see what I'm talking about? So you kinda get like that look. It's kinda like a three leaf clover type thing. I, I don't really know what I was going for. Um, but yeah, I'm just figuring out how I'm gonna put the paneling cause I think this goes right here. I think I was doing this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go like this. Then this goes like this. So yeah, something like that. We're just gonna stitch it all to this upper and we're gonna make the paneling of the sneaker. This is just a side panel. Then we'll obviously do the toe box and the tongue. And then we'll do the, and then again, speaking of that felt, I kinda wanna put felt behind the tongue so I have like a padded tongue. We'll do the, obviously the other, the inside of the shoe, the that, and then we'll connect them in the back like this. Uh, yeah, so this is basically what the shoe's kinda gonna look like. Um, I wanted to get like thick laces, like, like I'm talking like, Thick, thick laces, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because I already punctured these holes in when I was at FIT, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So the next thing I wanna do is pick what color thread I'm gonna be using because I have a bunch of different like colors, but again, it is more of a neutral shoe and the thread that's in there right now is red and yellow and I don't want red and yellow threads, so I'm thinking out of what I have left, I'm gonna be doing black, obviously, and I guess, is there like, I mean, there's like, oh, there's an olive green right here. So I'll do black and black and olive green is the threading. And um, yeah, so that, that was actually easier than I thought. I didn't know if I had a green, so that's actually good. Cause I don't have two blacks, which I don't know why I don't, but yeah. All right, so now I'm just gonna thread the machine. I'm gonna be putting the black on the top. You know, if you, if you have, a, if you're lucky enough to have a sewing machine, or if you thinking about like, you know, wanting to start your own like sneakers or just like anything creative at all, I would highly recommend investing in a sewing machine cause one, it'll save you a lot of time. Two, it'll make your projects look a thousand times better than it would by hand. Um, not that saying that hand, cause I also do like stitching by hand and all that stuff. But for certain things, you know, I feel like a sewing machine will definitely uh, help you out depending on what you wanna do. So if you can invest your money in a sewing machine or depending what you're doing, of course, like if you're into like embroidery or something like that, then invest your money in an embroidery machine. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I literally just started, not even one thing in. I guess I guess I made it a little bit too thick. I cracked the needle right in half. I cracked my needle right in half. Oh my God, bro. It's not even that thick leather. Like I've dead sewn on thicker leather on here. That's why I was not like, damn. I just cracked the needle, bro. I chill, not gonna lie, uh, we were having technical difficulties for like a minute. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. It, it just was not, I think it's this leather. This leather is way too thick for my sewing machine and I really don't want to hand stitch cause I, cause I already have this like done, but it's all right, we'll just go back to FIT and we'll do it um, to like puncture the holes and stuff. But I did use this thin, thin leather. So I'm definitely gonna be putting the felt now to give it some structure and make sure it's like good. But I do want the paneling, that's the most important part because this is just boring. Like obviously I don't want to just make this my shoe, but we want the paneling. So yeah, we use this very, very thin leather, as you can tell, super thin. So we're gonna be putting padding now. So that way, you know, it's not as floppy as it is. And uh, yeah, again, hey, we're just doing this from scratch. We're, we're figuring it out as we go. So let's go. Can't get caught, I'ma been different stitch. Hope my mama blowing on my phone. See
and if I'm okay. So, so we finished the first upper basically I know it kind of looks like unfinished obviously because it's, it's not finished at all but it has a little bit of thickness in the back now so it is a little bit more sturdy you got these pieces on so it's a little bit more sturdy then obviously when we connect the pieces we're gonna make it sturdy then we're gonna put a lining so it's not like this bare edge right here and then this will be covered up on the inside with the lining and um yeah but I'm just happy I got the paneling type done and um yeah so it's gonna have like an eyelet right here an eyelet right here uh, I think two right here and two more maybe or three, two, one, two, I, I don't know, I don't know, but you know, we're getting there. So, uh, you know, trust the process, trust the process. It looks like this right now, but trust the process. I right, chose, so I'm up to the part where I did both sides of the shoe. The inner part of the shoe, I'm not gonna have anything in the middle. So like, it'll like, this is the outside of the shoe and then this is your inside of the shoe. So there's gonna be nothing in the middle there, but yeah, yeah, yeah you get the point. But now we have to connect the back parts. As you can tell, I got everything in. So we're gonna connect the back parts and I'm gonna be using a strip to connect them so it kind of covers up the, like the line so it won't look weird. And we're gonna sew this strip down and so the shoes are, the both sides are together. Then we're gonna add the lining over so it's not like this. So you'll have a black lining over. It won't be a raw edge right here. It'll look like it's nice and finished. So uh, yeah, you know, we're making it work with what we got because I, again, I had to use that thin leather instead of the original one I had in mind. So we're, we're doing, we're doing it, we're doing it. I right, chose so we finally we finally uh, stitched the sides together so now we got like you know it's some it's starting to get to that shoe shape you feel me we're almost there now we're gonna add in the lining um this this is all stitched up on the back I did like a little stitching print like I don't know I, I just added like a little instead of just doing like boring stitching so now we're gonna grab the lining material and that will be the last thing on the sewing machine and then the rest will all be uh, hand stitching this and the the tongue and the toe box and yeah, because my sewing machine can't handle that, and yeah, I can't stitch through this on a sewing machine. So, uh, everything else will be hand sewing right after we do it, the lining. So, let's get to the lining. Move my mama out to PJ, huh? I'm a guard every day till a billion in my bay. Uh, I got girls. I chose so I did the lining after breaking three needles later. You know, I'm finally done with the sewing machine, but the lining is done. This is kind of what I was talking about. You see how it's all finished off at the top now. Obviously, I didn't like and cut it off and do all that but i'm just showing y'all that i finished this so there's no raw edge right here as you can tell it's stitched like a like a shoe would be like a real like a real you know shoe in a factory would be it's like you know finished off no raw edges and uh but yeah so it's coming it's coming out pretty good i'm not gonna lie um obviously i gotta trim this off and f f figure that out and then um we're gonna place it to the sole and we'll see what happens. But yeah, I literally broke like three needles, so that's always good. I forgot to show y'all, but I made like the toe box and like the tongue, so I made it poofy. So it's got it's got like this like little suede thing at the top, and then the toe box and stuff. Obviously, it looks weird right now. It looks like a platypus type thing right now. But once it's on, it'll look more like in line and all that stuff. So yeah, again, trust the process. Now it's time to do the hand sewing part of the sneakers. As you can tell, we changed up the color scheme from when we started too, which is black, tan, and brown. So I kind of want to get tan laces, but I also kind of want to get white, thick laces, because yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do, but I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do that. So uh, yeah, it might not, might not happen in this video, but this is what we're about to do. We're about to add it onto the sneaker and we'll see what it looks like. So. Y'all, after a long, long day, they're not, they're not done, but it's basically done. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, they came out actually not bad. Like they're, they're very cool. Like I'm, they're very cool in person. Like they're, they're nice. Like the leather, it's squishy. It's like a very weird leather because these were from some leather pants. Like this leather, like I literally turned pants into shoes. Like I could literally title the video that. But yeah, ignore the toe box. That's the thing that's in it right now. It's pushing it, but because I have the thing in it. But um. 
yeah i think it came out pretty cool once i get the laces uh, i'll show y'all i'm gonna go to fit and probably uh puncture the holes in so yeah it's not done yet but i basically did all i could today until i go to fit so yeah and then i'll fix it up a little bit because it looks kind of squished right now and then i'll put them on feet take some better videos and photos and uh yeah i'm just exhausted right now so cutting to uh me putting the laces in and then cutting to the entire final project no we're not the same can i compare nah you keep on speaking on my name i don't even know ya my closet be filled with drips today i'ma throw on some chrome uh, see i really been to some shit can't trust man i got a call uh, i'm shooting my shot at your bitch i guarantee that i'ma score ya uh, they ask me why i got so hard cause i used to sleep on the floor ya uh. these niggas be touching me with too much crap just give me a noise ya so after two days the laces finally did come in the thick laces that i wanted to go for that style that you know the style that i was going for if y'all don't know what the i think it's lavin or lanvin sneakers i don't know it's, you guys probably seen them it's ones that look like osiris's and they have the thick laces travis has worn them asap rocky i'm pretty sure has worn them like mad people like that have worn them and i wanted like that style laces on this because that's kind of like the vibe i was kind of going for but like a mid top so yeah, I think they came out actually really good. You know, we literally made them in a day. I was just waiting for the laces to come. Laces took two days to come from Amazon. But other than that, I think these actually came out pretty good for what we were working with. We made these, this was not the leather I wanted to use. We made this out of pants leather. You know, we did this, I, we did what we could. Uh, sewing machine kept breaking, needles kept snapping. So this was a very time consuming video and it would mean the world if y'all just hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I cannot stress that enough, but we did make these sneakers right here from scratch, no cap. Y'all saw the whole thing. And uh, yeah, this was a very, very fun video to do, although it was stressful, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. If you guys want to see better pictures of these and all that stuff, go follow the Instagram at paul.souls. You know, I'll probably post some pictures here and there on my story. You know, I'm gonna probably style them up a little bit and like make them look cool. So go check that out on the Instagram at paul.souls, secret account paul.souls too. Shh, I don't know about that. But anyway, it's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy. Now catch y'all in the next one. And we out. Hit the subscribe, hit that like button. With the music I do it with passion, yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all this designer and love with the fashion. Yeah. I'm